Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam from BSC Tech. Today's video is about connecting a Samsung smartwatch, whether you have a Galaxy watch or Active 2, with uh, a third-party Android device, uh, not necessarily that you have a Samsung device. In today's case, we have Huawei's Mate 20 Pro and we are going to connect one of these devices with this phone. Uh, in today's video, I will be explaining the steps you need to take in order to connect this watch with this smartphone. As long as your smartphone has a Bluetooth function, you are ready to go. Keep watching the video till the end and subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, any comments or feedback that will be appreciated in the comment section below. So guys, uh, first of all, you need a Samsung smartwatch as well as uh, an Android smartphone with at least uh, Android operating system 4.4 or higher. Uh, in most cases you will have uh, uh, Android 8, 9 and 10 but in some cases if you have Android 6 or 7 don't worry about that it still works exactly the same way. Uh, there might be some certain requirements for example if you have a latest uh, smartwatch with uh, uh, an older phone there might be compatibility issues but in today's case we have a Galaxy uh, watch. Uh, first of all we will turn on the smartwatch and uh, then on our smartphone we will go into the Android Play Store and uh, type uh, Galaxy Wearable. Once you see this uh, application you can simply go ahead and install this and this will take you basically on uh, this page which will give you like a brief introduction about uh, the overall products available on uh, Samsung uh, platform. You can pick and choose your favorite uh, product from uh, this segment as you can see there are a couple of watches as well as some uh, audio accessories including uh, uh, the new uh, Galaxy Buds Live uh, and uh, once your watch is turned on it will show a display message like the one I'm, I've just shown you on the screen with a display code. You can simply uh, go into the uh, specific segment of your desired uh, hardware and pick your watch from there or accessory and then you can click on the pairing section as soon as you click on the pairing uh, section it will basically start searching the watch unfortunately we have connected the second watch which is a galaxy active 244mm but you can always uh, remove that from the top left hand corner or uh, in the settings section we will turn this watch off and we will come back to galaxy watch gold again this is a 44 mm cellular device you can also use a cellular data plan if that is available in your region as you can see that we are looking for this specific code when we click on search for variable devices the phone will start searching for available uh, pairing devices which are ready to be scanned by the system and uh, if for some reason uh, your mobile does not show don't worry about that try again it will show as soon as you see the same code on both screens you can come back and click on the pairing section and it will start the basic pairing uh, process once the basic pairing process is complete uh, it will basically take you towards another screen which will ask you to download and install galaxy watch plugin this is very important guys don't miss this if you don't install galaxy watch plugin you will not be able to use your smartwatch and it will not communicate properly uh, you have to download a third application called Galaxy uh, Accessories which you can see on the screen, Samsung Accessories Service. If you are moving from a Samsung to a non-Samsung device, these three uh, applications are definitely and uh, you have to install them in order to make sure that your phone is connected and uh, you cannot use your smartwatch without installing these three applications. As you can see that uh, the phone is basically trying to process depending on the internet speed you have uh, it will take uh, between three to five minutes in some cases it takes only like less than uh, 90 seconds as, as you can see on screen that congratulations on your new galaxy watch the watch is finally paired with the phone and the basic setup uh, is going to be finished on uh, the smartphone screen uh, as you see a new message uh, um, get more with the Samsung account if you're coming from a Samsung device to a non Samsung you can always use your Samsung account to restore your backup uh, and then you can keep your watch connected uh, since this watch is a cellular watch you can always use uh, a data plan if that is available in your region uh, obviously that will cost you extra money for that and as you have seen that we are set with uh, the basic setup on the smartphone screen uh, plenty of uh, subsections here widgets uh, watch faces and uh, then a basic setup guide which is there you can go through uh, each of them and uh, you can download uh, the themes you like you can always set the timing uh, the water setting is there for swimming 
and uh, the sports and the running section is there and you can basically download uh, different uh, widgets uh, based on your preference and now we are going through the basic setup on the watch uh, the watch dial is basically asking us to move left right up and down in order to get used to how the functions will work guys uh, remember you can uh, always change uh, the watch faces on the watch itself if you don't want to uh, access the phone or you can do it either on the phone screen by opening uh, the samsung galaxy wearable app it's super easy it's straightforward so this was the basic guide how to connect uh, any samsung smartwatch with uh, a third party android uh, mobile device uh, regardless of its model and brand I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or feedback, uh, please share with us. Take good care of yourself. Have a good day. Bye-bye.